let's say we still do some work with our normal operating system not just iOS and we have our documents so uh, with our docs and our pictures and other stuff that we save there uh, would be nice if we could easily sync that or upload all that stuff onto our server it, which we can uh, it's with a program called iSync um, it's very simple to get to we just need to navigate if you're in your iOS desktop if not just open up a browser and if you don't know the URL for iOS, uh, very simple, just type in I E Y E O S, enter or search. And it should be towards the top, if not the very top. Here's iOS website, there's iOS.org. All right, now we're at the home page. And we want to go over to downloads. And down a little bit, you'll see download iOS, download iSync, uh, translation, user manual, so on and so forth. We want download iSync. And here we are. Now, down a little bit, you'll see that it's at a uh, 1.0 alpha stage, means it's very young. Means there's lots of good things to expect from it. Now, we have a few different ways or a few different programs we can download here. One's for Windows, uh, Vista, XP, 2000, ME, or 98, which pretty much covers what everyone should be using by now. Um, and then there's Mac OS uh, operating system, the Leopard, uh, with Intel based. Uh, it shows here that we need to install the Qt libraries beforehand. It, has, it gives you a little link to the side how to do that. Our Linux, our uh, Divine um, branch of Linux, uh, it's already prepackaged for us in the dev, real simple to do, and here's our source code for anyone else. And real simple Windows, real quick, you download, you unzip it, and you do the uh, hit the executable, sometimes double click, single click the executable, which would be isync.exe. Uh, Mac OS, pretty much the same. Uh, Linux, uh, we'll go over that real quick. Uh, it's real simple to do, um, but like I said, right here, all we need to do is download whatever one pertains to you see that downloaded now for us Linux users we need to open up a terminal so we have a fresh terminal here we need to CD to our folder which contains the file we just downloaded so I put on desktop so it would be CD desk top all right, now we need to do our super user do space. We need to depack, so dp k g space dash dash install space. Then the name of the file we just downloaded. You can start out by doing i and if you hit the tab key it should finish it out for you now I've already pre-installed it so it's gonna be a little bit different what's gonna show up on mine after you hit enter you're gonna have to enter in your root password or super user password and as I was saying this is gonna be different um, the first time I did it I had some dependency problems um, so very simple to fix that if you don't know how already or one way to fix it is after that's done we just type in super user do s u d o space apt apt dash git install space dash f then we just hit enter if you need to put the password in again do that and then it will go through, it will solve all the dependencies that you had, and then it will finish installing your iSync for you. Now let's say this is our desktop. Um, I try to make it look sort of windowish, And uh, this would be where your start menu would be, and then you would go to programs, and of course here's where your clock would be over here towards the right hand side. So on my system, and like I said on Windows, it would probably be in a folder called uh, AppSync, I'm uh, assuming. 
but on mine it was network iSync and then there we go now the first time you do this uh, this isn't the first time I did this first time you do this it's gonna pop up with an error but don't don't freak out or anything it's okay all it's telling you is that once this part opens after you hit OK we need to go to preferences and we need to put in our server URL now the best way of doing this and the way I suggest it is um, we need to go to our web browser here we go and we need to go to our login screen of iOS and make sure it's the login screen right there that way we get all the subfolders and everything else in there that's the best way I've seen then we need to highlight this I'm gonna just put my cursor on there hit control A and then control C or you can do that by right clicking and hit copy whatever way you feel more comfortable about I'm gonna minimize this alright and then get all that junk out of there I'm gonna hit control V or you can right click and click paste same thing happens then you need to put your iOS username and password in there now you need to make sure you already signed up for iOS and everything and you haven't done this backwards or anything hit OK now it's gonna pop up saying that we need to restart iSync before the change to take effect easy enough we just X out of this and then you'll see right here there's like it looks like a refresh um, symbol to me but uh, sync is what it represents um, now on Windows users it's gonna be basically the same thing you're gonna be over here though a little bit and uh, next to your clock and you'll see it just right click on it and it quit now we'll go back up here to where I sync is do whatever you need to appropriately for other machines and then if it comes up without any pop-ups and stuff that means we got it right everything's done we know we can move on so over here on the sync side it shows one thing that I, I mean one great thing that I love about iOS and the whole principle behind it is we have these three different operating systems here that don't always get along so far as apps and other stuff all can go into this iOS which you can access through all of them and then you know through your PDA or cell phone your laptop, your Wii, and also uh, like for me I have uh, one of those media centers that are on computer I can go through my television and do that too. Now let's get back to talking. Oh, down here um, you'll see a little spill about what I'm about to show you, the same thing so if you get what I say or whatever you can just read that and probably explain better than I can. Now let's go to add folders. Now local folders is folders that you have on your local desktop, your physical computer you're at right now, your terminal, that's where it's at, local folders. So we want to hit browse. Now in Windows this will normally come up to your documents, uh, my documents or whatever, you can choose what folder you want. Um, if you want to, uh, I'm going to put docs here, pretty simple. Now this chooses folders, not files. Um, and everything inside that folder will get uploaded to wherever you specify here in this next line which is our iOS folder. So what we need to do is figure out what folder we want to put it in. Well these are documents so I'm probably going to want to put it in my document folder. But if you can't remember right offhand what you named it or if you want to put it in a different folder or whatever we'll just go ahead and go back into our iOS here. So we logged into our iOS. Uh, I'm going to just click on home. And you can see here I made a different folder. But I'm going to put that folder in apps here. Um, so very simply you just come back over to your iSync here and we're going to type in apps. Hit OK. And then down here you'll see um, on Windows machines this will happen the same. It will pop up as important files, important files uh, to the remote folder are importing files into the remote folder in your iOS. So that means that it's syncing and we're good to go. Now we can do that as many times as you want. You'll see right here our sync directory. You'll uh, be able to list all that stuff. You can add it and delete it or remove it rather and tell you properties about it and all this other stuff. Here's a vent where um, it should show you some logs at some point and um, of course you can change this stuff around if you want to that's one neat little thing I found earlier today um, one thing about our about is that we can tell that it's a 0.1 alpha uh, on this one um, so we know if there's an update we can come and compare